Well, hey guys, good morning, and uh, Thorzax here. Got my coffee. Mm. Oh, that's good. Um, what we've done is we've switched out in our powder measure the uh, uh, unique for bullseye, and we're continuing on with bullseye as the propellant that we're going to be using. Um, I loaded up uh, some of Rick's, you know, 240 grain bullets. We loaded these up with uh, 4.5 grains of bullseye. Uh, I also would load it up uh, 6.0 grains of Unique with 180 grain Hornady um, uh, swaged lead. We'll give those a try as well. Um, so the next uh, order of business is what we're going to do is we're going to take the Aardvark Enterprise bullet, this little guy, right here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to load that with 4.5 grains of bullseye too. This will give me a comparison load of, uh, of the Hornady bullet versus um, you know Rick's you know Rick's 180 grain there, Turner Katie Cone. So we're going to keep on moving on here. Um, bullseye it's a very good powder. Um, it's very efficient. Uh, it's uh, it's economical. Let's put it that way. Uh, it gives good performance across the course. Uh, I've used it, you know, almost exclusively in bullseye shooting. Um, it's a great powder. And what, what what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to go ahead and develop a load that mimics. The 45 ACP with a 185 grain bullet uh, by you know using 44 Russian. You know the powder capacity is about the same as the 45 ACP, but we got a bullet weight that's the same, and we're going into a charge weight that's about in the same velocity range that we'll be shooting a, a 45 ACP load um, for bullseye. So I'm I'm, I'm kind of hoping that this bullet works out with this powder combination. That's pretty much what I'm trying to achieve here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load up 15 rounds of these. And we'll give these a try uh, against the, uh, the Frontier Bullet. Uh, and we'll see how that, that um, works out for us. Also, uh, what I want to do is I want to use um, 4.5 grains of bullseye with a Keith bullet and see how that works as well with a 44 Russian. And see how that shoots. Almost done here, guys. Yeah, so anyway, October's here. And gone, and November's here, and as you can tell, uh, I got my jacket on, and my heater just kicked on for my house. Uh, one thing, though, about up here in the Pacific Northwest, um, I've just learned to, you know, if it's it's a little chilly in the house, just put a coat on. You know, you don't need to run your heater all the time. That gets expensive. You know. I've got better things to spend my money on than electricity. Okay, here we go. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One more. We'll get all these bullets seated and get them all ready to go. Like I said, if you guys don't have one of these yet, uh, they're well worth the money. This is uh, the Universal um, Expander die that's offered from Lee, and you know it, it comes with some inserts. And what you do is you just you just set up these inserts in here like that, and then you just use your you know seating stem. To adjust it, you know, with your lock die 
to give you the proper flare that you want and you know like I said it's universal I mean you can you can use it for 30 caliber 22 caliber 270 caliber you can you know whatever type of cast bullet you're trying to you know you're, you're, you're trying to load it's an excellent excellent investment uh, it keeps you from reaching around and you know trying to find things and things like that that you know try to find your uh, powder through expander die and So here we go. Yeah, I'm going to get out to the range probably on Thursday or Friday. Um, you know, those are my days off. Um, pretty much Monday through Wednesday is kind of my uh, hand loading days. Uh, if I was going, to, if if I was going to go to the range on a day that you know is my work day. Um, I'd really have to cut it short. First of all, I have to travel to the range. I have to go to the range. Then I have to get out all my stuff, and then I have to set it all up, and and uh, then I have to shoot my video. You know, uh, I have to collect all my gear and everything after I'm done, and have to go ahead and you know do all that, and then come home and put all my stuff away. Um, I can't really go into details, but where I work. Uh, many levels of security. Let's put it that way. I mean, uh, it's a pretty tight place, and uh, that's not some place where you want to forget to, you know, go home and you know, drop off your guns. <laughs> you got your guns in the back of your uh, back of your car or something. That'd be really bad. So anyway, what I found that works really well. Is that you just get these, uh, you know, inexpensive Ziploc bags, you know, sandwich bags. And I just use these uh, rather than using um, uh, storage boxes. So what do we got? We got 180 grain. And these are Rick's. And we got 4.5 of Bullseye. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on, continuing on, and getting this all ready. Um, we're probably going to be looking at, you know, a couple of trips to the range to shoot all this stuff up, and then compare targets, and then compare different loads to each other. But that's all part of the game. Um, so what do we got here? Got Rick's. 240 grain, 180 grain, those are loaded with bullseye. We've got 6.0 of unique with a 180 grain Hornady. Um, these are 6.0 with Rick's bullets of unique, and then these are 6.0 of the 262 grain bullet, and then these are 6.0 with the 245 grain Keith. So anyway, I'm going to keep on moving on here uh, with loading. I'm running kind of low on brass, so I'm going to go ahead and resize and flare some more brass and then go ahead and get that primed and then just keep on moving on here. So I wanted to add this little video to the video I already have. Uh, we're using bullseye right now. Um, I brought up WST. Now there's something that I wanted to tell you guys. You know, I I use I use quite a bit of bullseye. You know, bullseye is my mainstay. I I, I shoot a lot of bullseye. The thing is though is that with competitive sports and when you start getting into bullseye shooting, you know, uh, NRA outdoor bullseye shooting, is that you can actually get into a mode where uh, the load you get complacent with that load because you know it, it becomes it becomes uh, reactionary to your body. Your body already knows you know what kind of recoil it's going to have. Your body already knows you know uh, you know you know what kind of uh, reaction that the the, the pistol is going to have when you shoot it. <coughs> that leads to sloppiness after a while. And so, what you need to do every once in a while, if you shoot, you know, outdoor bullseyes, you need to mix it up a little bit. 
and you know shooting a different powder you know something like 700x you know this this reacts differently uh, and you know it, it seems accurate you know uh, it'll it, you know it'll I'll tell you what, this is what I use on my uh, 50 yard line for my 200 grain bullets and these, it works good, it works good, it, it has, uh, you get a little bit of unburnt powder, but that, that, that that's no big deal, it's just a slower burning powder. Uh, but then again, it changes the reaction in your hand when you shoot it, you know, so the, there's little tricks that you got to learn when you shoot bullseye to keep yourself competitive and, and, and kind of hone yourself up. Now I've ordered uh, I ordered four pounds of Winchester WST, and that also reacts different in your hand when you shoot it. And uh, but it gives really good results. I mean, uh, I shot WST as a surrogate powder for Bullseye when I was out of Bullseye. Um, so you know that's just a little something that I wanted to throw into this video. Uh, you know, if you're having bad results after a while of using a particular load and bullet combination then either change the bullet or you know change the powder load you know uh, go to a different powder because what's happening is you're getting complacent and you need to break that uh, and the only way you can break that is by putting something that's going to react a little different in your hand when you shoot it just a little tip so anyway Thor's axe. I'm going to continue on, continuing on here, and uh, get all this stuff loaded. And by Thursday or Friday, we'll get out to the range and we'll shoot a bunch of this stuff, and you know, see how it works. So, anyway, this is Thor's axe. Have a good day, and bye for now.